Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome to this next little test live stream. I have Spicy as my guest. Hey, guys. You all back test. Hey, All right. Can you hear me okay, Mama? Yep. I can hear you good. All right. Hey, Richard. Thank you. Here with bells on. Hey, Finger Lakes. How are you? Awesome. Awesome. So we're going to see how this works. Bear with me one second. I don't know if the um, if the picture is swapping over, Mom. I don't think it is. I, I got to figure that out, but I'll just do it manually for now. Okay. So we have, I figured out my view for the stovetop. Um, this is looking down on my stove. So we are going to um, make pain relief lotion bars. Hey, L. Stewart, how are you? And I'm going to let y'all watch as I make these. And Spicy's going to help me. And I'll have to switch the, the camera back and forth manually because it doesn't seem to be um, operating as it should. So y'all will have to forgive me for that. So in this, let me go ahead and tell you. <laughs> going pro, yeah. Yeah, I'm fumbling. I'm fumbling. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, hey Bob Sandy Hill. Farrell. Hey, Bob Hill. What's going on, man? Uh, Glenn Oakla, how's it going? L. Stewart with the super ch chat. What? Shut the door. Thank you so much, girl. You do me good. <laughs> so in this pot, I'm going to tell you all what I got going on here. In this pot, I've got water heating up. Just plain old water. And I have a particular jar that I make these pain relief bars in. And it is this one. It's had pain relief stuff in it before, and I don't put anything else in this jar but my pain relief stuff. And I have a skewer that I use to stir it with. I'm going to set that right there in the water. <clears throat> hey, Two Family Homestead, welcome to the live stream. Living and learning life. Hey, welcome. Glad you can make it. Hey, y'all, living and learning life and two family. Let me see if I can click on the chat so I can see. Awesome. Two family, homestead. two family homestead says uh, 2.5 pounds, gallon. Boy, howdy. What? Um, yeah, two family. I, like I, I messaged you the other day, um, this past week on my diet, I dropped five pounds, uh, which is real good. But last week, which was week four, I didn't lose any weight or any inches. So I had to step back, take a look at, at what I was doing and kind of refix some stuff. And sure enough, I lost five pounds, uh, week five. So we're, uh, 
we're going to try for at least four on week six. I don't even want to talk about so, it. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> nope, nope. I don't want to talk about it. Well, uh, two families said uh, she won't take her measurements. Getting on the scale is bad enough. Well, and see, I've, I've talked to other people trying to help them with losing weight and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> first of all, you gotta you gotta understand, or you gotta let yourself know that hey, I need to lose some weight. That's the that's just like having an addiction. First step is admitting that you have an, addic an addiction. Well, I have an addiction. This is chocolate chip cookie anonymous. I have an yeah. addiction. Hello, my name is Southern Art Homestead, and I am addicted. My stress level what? goes up, <laughs> and chocolate chip cookies is is my friend. Uh, hey, May Day. Whenever, whenever you find out, whenever you realize this is what you need to do, it, you just need to block everything out. Yes, like me, I'm a big old dude. So I need to realize and I'm a big I'm old dude. But I'm the dude. there's no need. I'm the dude. I never, I, I, I don't see it as a problem. I see it as me fixing my problem. So once you get that through your head and get past not being scared, I, I would go with the measurements first before I step on the scale. Uh, because the scale, if the scale says one pound, well, your inches that you've lost may be two inches. Oh my goodness, FLP, thank you. Oh, oh, stop. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so my whole point to that whole conversation was don't be scared. You're doing something to fix the problem. So own it. Own that you're fixing that problem. And uh, positivity, especially in a diet, goes a long way. Right. It does. <laughs> Too funny. All right. So let me let me get the first ingredient in here. So this is what I'm using. Can y'all see that? This is certified organic coconut oil. And I'm going to put this in this jar. I need a third of a cup. And I don't have I can't find my third cup measuring cup. So I have this measuring cup that has the third in it. So I'm going to put a third of a cup in here. In this jar. Now the reason why I make it in a jar, let me go ahead and tell y'all, so I can keep it contained because I'm using menthol crystals in this. And menthol crystals are very strong. So, I have a third of a cup. Can you see that, Terry? Uh, oh, spicy boy. I'm trying to get my chat yeah, yeah. and all that pulled up. Okay. Yeah, you got to help me with the chat because I can't see it. Well, maybe I can. Let me change it. Okay. I got I got it back up. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Christy Betts. How you doing? <laughs> Is that FLP that said one bat wing? Golly. One bat wing. Right. Too funny. One bite wing. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. Werewolf, werewolf fangs in there and right. Bubble bubble, tall and trouble. All right. This is the next ingredient. This is very expensive. Terry, this is what you were asking me about um, earlier today. Yeah. This is unrefined shea butter. I'm putting a third of a cup in here. <laughs> Somebody mentioned something about a nuke. Oh, my Lord. I missed that part. Yeah, Bob Hills said, turn me into a newt. Huh. What? I got to go back to uh, the chat way back when FLP was talking about something. Hold on. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do this uh, um, and pay attention. Yeah, yeah. No, you go ahead. I was looking at something. Oh, uh, he said he was uh, trying to get Chapter 10 produced. Oh, okay. And uh, that's yeah, when he said good grief. We'll and audio finally done. Yeah, we'll, we'll be needing Chapter 10. I will be needing Chapter 10. Uh, All right. River Mountain Homestead, welcome <laughs> to the live stream. Hey, 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 I can't keep up with the chat, so you got to help me. Yeah, uh, Richard said, uh, good evening. Hey, Richard. So let me let me tell you right quick why I'm putting shea butter in here, okay? Because even though this is a pain relief lotion bar, it's still a lotion. Hey, Pat Skelton. How are you, my friend? Hey, Barut, what is going on? Barut, hey, thank you so much for coming in. I am doing well, Richard. So anyway, about the shea butter, let me go ahead and tell y'all. Um, I am 52 years old, okay, and I have, I'm old, I have old skin, <laughs> and even though this is a pain relief bar, it's still a lotion bar, so shea butter is the most amazing thing for your skin. I use it in my lotions. And sometimes my soaps, depending on what, what I'm making. So I'm putting a third of a cup in this lotion bar. All right. Y'all dealing with an old lady here. So I need to shake butter. Oh my goodness. Are y'all able to see what I'm doing? <laughs> All right. So my next ingredient is this is Arnica A R N I C A Arnica warming relief oil and it is a muscle tension it's actually a massage oil, but I use it in my lotion bar. Um, and it's a, a warming lotion. It warms the skin. So I'm going to put a third of a cup. Oh, wow. Is it next Sunday that we're going? Is it next weekend that we're going to uh, Wiggins, Mississippi? On the 11th. So 
it's, it's 10 days, right? 10 days we're going to Wiggins, Mississippi. Whatever day the 11th's on, mister. We're actually leaving Friday. I'm leaving Friday. I oh, said a week from Sunday. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. My time's messed up. Yes, a week from Sunday. <laughs> We're going to Wiggins, Mississippi. This this will actually be me and mom's first time going to a YouTube gathering of sort. So we're actually kind of excited. Um, no, I'm not kind of. When? No, I'm not kind of. I am. I am <laughs> When did you make your one year on YouTube with your channel? I have no idea. Well, mom, mom's been on several, several months before me. Well, she's been on way longer than me. But um, my my one year of being on my channel will be July the fourth. So I have not quite made a year yet. And in the year that I've been on the ch on my channel, I've met so many awesome people. And some of the people that I've got to meet on YouTube, I'm actually going to get to meet uh, at the uh spring gathering in Wiggins, mississippi and i'm very excited about it i'm really wanting to meet some people and then in may we're going to uh tennessee to another gathering which is going to be freaking super duper ginormous ginormous can i just say Okay, so October of last year, I was on here a year. Awesome. You still with me, Spicy? I'm um, right here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go over the next ingredient while you're doing all that. It's in Cookville, Tennessee, L. Stewart. Cookville, Tennessee. We're going to be there for four days. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right. So, can you see this? This is the next ingredient. Now, this is beeswax. I bought this before I got the first beeswax from my hives. So, I'm going to use this up first. And then use the hive, the wax from my hives. And let me show you what the wax from my hives looks like. Oh, FLP. There you go. Okay, so this, let me switch the camera. Hey, we'll put you on mute right quick, Mom, okay? Okay. All right, so this is wax from my hives. Whenever we harvest honey, we save the wax. And I clean it and process it. And this is what it looks like when I get done. So I have I have quite a bit of wax for the you know that I got from my hives. Let me check the chat. Yeah, and um I've got I've got a good bit of wax as well. Um that, that little slab that you have, I think I've got uh, three slabs of wax. One slab that I need to um, process through, get all the bees' knees out of it. Yep. All right, so where am I at? All right, so these beeswax beads, 
They're just beads. Let me show you. This is what they look like. Can you see that? So I'm going to use beeswax in this lotion bar, and I'm going to use a third of a cup. L. Stewart, if you will message me, I will get you a link to that Appalachian Homesteading Conference. So if you can go, that would be great. I would love to meet you. Hey, Cheryl. Welcome to the live stream. Hey, Miss Cheryl. I'm going to put a third of a cup in this measuring cup so I can add it to my jar. can't see the chat so y'all repeat it if I miss anything hey dad on YouTube how are you Jay what is going on man super chat oh my goodness awesome dude <laughs> golly y'all are gonna make me all teary eyed Little this, little that. What is going on? Welcome to our live stream. Thank you so much, Jay. Golly. Y'all don't get me all teary-eyed this evening. God bless it. <laughs> all right, so That's I'm going to put this third of a I'm going to put this third of a cup of beeswax beads in this jar. Tommy Wheeler, welcome to the live stream. Glad you can make it. Hey, Tommy. I can't see who's coming in and out, so let me know. All right. I need to go over and... Hey, Mom. Oh. Dad on YouTube once was said, would you go over... What ingredients that you have put in there so far on this uh, pain relief? Floor? I sure will. I certainly will. Okay. <clears throat> This is the first thing I put in there, died on YouTube. A third of a cup coconut oil. Um, that's my first ingredient. The next ingredient is um, a virgin unrefined shea butter. Um, I put this in my lotion bar because I have I'm 52 and I need shea butter in my life. Shea butter makes me presentable. <laughs> it hasn't fixed all my problems, but it's a lotion bar, so I put shea butter in it. Um, the next ingredient is, uh, oh, I put a third of a cup of the shea butter in it, too. If I didn't mention that before. The next ingredient is called Arnica. A R N I C A warming relief massage oil. 
It's a muscle tension uh, massage oil, and it has a warming sensation. So I put a third of a cup of this in my jar. And that's all I've got in there as of, as of right now. And I put it in a jar um, so I can keep it contained because, oh, and my beeswax. Yes, I forgot that. <clears throat> um, beeswax, I put a third of a cup in the jar. Um, and that's going to keep it from being liquid. It's going to make it um, a lotion bar. Are you still with me, Spicy? Yep, I'm here. Okay. Yes. So I put it in the jar because I need to keep it contained because of this little ingredient right here. This is called menthol crystals. Um, I'm going to use two teaspoons of this in my mixture whenever the beeswax gets melted. This is very... <laughs> Yes, I've moved in one bat wing, yes. <laughs> this is very strong. And once you open this and put it in the oil, you're going to clear your sinuses. <laughs> so I'm trying to stir this around and let it melt before I put the crystals. And I, put, I also put about 10 drops of peppermint oil in there. Um... Now, I know that some people think that peppermint oil makes you smell like candy, but I like candy, so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, two family asks, are you bringing this to Mississippi to sell? Um, I haven't thought about that, two family. Now, I do sell this. I've sold it before. And usually it's three bars in a, um, like a bag, like a sandwich bag. <laughs> it's three bars for $6, um, which would be $2 a piece. Um, but most people order them by threes. Hey, Mud Pie Girl, too, uh, welcome to the live stream. Hey, Mud Pie Girl. I don't have any comfrey staff to sell to family. I could make some, but um, I guess. But I'm not really, really going to have enough to do any selling um, when I'm there. I know there's lots of people that's bringing lots of things. Richard asked, uh, could you write down the recipe? So I guess whenever you upload the video, will you put down the ingredients in the uh, description so people can go back and see the ingredients? Okay, I sure will. That's a good idea. My beeswax, sure. my beeswax is almost melted. Look, y'all, can you see? Those little, those little beads. I'm just stirring it around until it melts. Awesome, two family. Um, new MKY homesteading. Does this work for something? I missed it. Um, I uh, use this. Does it work for RA? Oh, I don't know um, if it works for RA, but I'll tell you what it does work for. It works for old ladies that get outside and get war slap out from gardening. 
Um, all right, so I'm going to take my jar. Everything's melted. You see that? Everything is melted in the jar. So I'm going to take it out of the water. Move that off the heat. And now comes the fun part. I'm going to add the menthol crystals. I understand, Richard. I, bet, I understand. I bet it would help with uh with arthritis, you know, the pain of yeah. it a little bit. Yeah, because it's getting summertime, you know, it's getting springtime, and I'm gonna be working in my garden, and y'all know I'm old and fat. So I <laughs> mean I'm going to be, after sitting all winter in front of the computer, I'm going to need all the help I can get with sore muscles. So, all right, so this is what the crystals look like. Can y'all see that? So I'm going to put about two teaspoons in here. Maybe a little more. The more you put in there, the stronger it is. Trust me. I'm going to try to stir it around to dissolve. You need to keep it dissolved, keep it stirred to dissolve those menthol crystals in your oil. Oh, <laughs> huh. even though it's mysterious stuff, <laughs> right? Somebody referred to it as uh, swamp medicine. I'm a swamp doctor. Imagine that. So. Uh, Y'all, how is how is the video coming in? Um, I'm pretty sure, Mama, uh, you're on Wi-Fi right now, aren't you? My the 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 stove top is okay. Well, I'm on Wi-Fi, so are how are y'all seeing Mama's video? Is everything coming out clear? Uh, are we um, are we buffering any or anything like that? Let us know. Uh, don't be afraid to say, "Hey, you're you're." You're blocking, you're blocking out. All right. So the last thing that I'm going to put in here is about 10 drops of peppermint oil. All right. They said it, they said it's coming out good and clear. So that, that's a good thing. Awesome. I'm starting it all real good. And this is why I do this in the jar. Because once you add the menthol crystals, holy moly, it is strong. It's stout stuff. Hey, did you, you didn't have to go and look to see what size those bee suits were, did you? No, I didn't. I haven't had time. I apologize for that. That's all right. Okay, uh, so. Go on. go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Okay. Well, this is my high dollar, high end mold for my lotion bars. Okay. So. I'm going to pour this in here.
Are um, you still with me? Yeah, I was, I was just going to say, I was typing a message to uh, North Carolina Homestead, uh, North Kentucky Homestead. Um, I am, everybody, I was talking to Mama a little bit ago about some beehives and bee suits and stuff like that. And I told Mama before that I want to get some bees for the property here. And I know Mom has four beehives at her house, but um, I want to I want to do a beehive here, and I want to do kind of a series on the bees uh, for my channel from start to finish, from getting your bees, uh, and I'm gonna get my bees as a nuke, and then going from there. And as I grow, keep you know keep growing the uh, videos, but um, instead of just going to Mama's and telling her I'm going to take one of her beehives. Um, I'm just going to get a nuke and start with a nuke and go from there. That's a good idea. Okay, so I've got all of this poured in my high dollar mold. And you can't get these molds. These are very exclusive molds. But because I love y'all so dang much, we're gonna. Um, I'm gonna do my alakazam, my my uh, abracadabra, and we're gonna have. <clears throat> Through the magic of television, <laughs> we have these that were done previously that are already set up. So, I'm going to crack these, like those of you that use these high dollar molds. And this is what they look like. They fit in the palm of your hand, just like this. So, when you're holding this in your hand, the warmth of your hand softens it so you can take it like this and hold it on your skin and rub it around and the warmth of your hand will make it dispense just like that and it sits in the palm of your hand Just like that. So I take when I when I get these. Look at this one over here because that one's mine. Hey, uh, living and learning life said, do you let do you let it cool naturally or do you put it in the refrigerator? No, I let it cool naturally, and then I set it in the fridge, and that's only to get it hard so it'll pop out of the tray. Once it's out of the tray, it's fine. But I want, when I take it out of the tray, I want clean edges. So I set it in the fridge. Um, Dad on YouTube, he made kind of a good point. Um, he said coconut oil is not always solid at room temp. How warm can these uh, bars get before they melt? Room temp stable or what? Um, this... Is room temp. This is room temp. I don't put this in the refrigerator. And this is um, extra virgin coconut oil. So this stays at room temperature. So now I know that I know that there's different uh, different coconut oils that will melt at a lower temperature because I um, I've been looking at different soap making stuff and there is uh, coconut oil that will melt at 75 degrees yeah but I imagine I imagine with the with the coconut oil mixed in with the other waxes and other oils um, I imagine that helps it keep it a little bit harder as well yeah the but you don't want it for one helps keep it together but you don't want to leave it on the dashboard of your car that would be bad no 
but you you also don't want it hard as you know a bar of soap. Uh, you want it to be a little soft, so when you're rubbing it in, it actually rubs off. Well, this is refrigerated, okay? This is refrigerated. Yeah. This comes straight off the refrigerator, and it's coming off with the warmth of my hand. Yeah. So. Hey, Cindy Farrell, I'm sorry I missed you when you come into the live stream. Welcome to our live stream. Now, I don't use these for anything else but lotion bars. I'm not going to fill this up and put it in the freezer to have ice cubes with. Because the menthol crystals kick butt. So there's a question. Um, what if you have a sore tooth? Uh, could you chew on a piece of this bar uh, pain relief? I don't believe it would help. Okay. Um, Whoever asked that question, it's not going to. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend putting it in your mouth. I was asking for a friend. Oh, that was you. <laughs> Y'all do something with him. Do something with him. Oh, Dad on YouTube, L.A. So, uh, now, oh, you you said L.A. You meant like Louisiana, because Louisiana summers suck. I'm missing the chat. Oh, Bruce, uh, Bruce said October 31st was the start of Southern Art Homestead's uh, live stream. I mean, your channel uh bruce are you caught up with this because we talked about that about 20 minutes ago i just want to make sure that you are caught up with us now awesome thank you for the information <laughs> there you go cheryl that's a good idea if you have tooth ache tooth pain use club oil yep yep um, dad, uh, dad on YouTube. Yes, my mom's in North Louisiana. Uh, I'm in Southern Arkansas. Um, but I mean, I'm I'm right by Louisiana line. Uh, so yeah, uh, I I understand with that Louisiana weather. I grew up. I mean, I I was born and raised in Louisiana, so it it sucks. Okay, Bruce. I was just making sure that you were uh, you were caught up because we I know we talked about it a while ago. Uh, just just checking on you, making sure you're you're with the program. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So this is what they look like when I get done with them. So. So, uh, right quick, Mom, I want to talk about something um, to everybody in the chit chat. I was, I've been talking to Mom about soap making. Um, I find it very interesting. Mom has done soap making for quite some time. Um, and I'm trying to get, well, I'm not trying to get my wife into it, but I'm, I'm trying to see if she wants to make a little soap, see how she does, uh, how she would like it. But um, before. We before I do any kind of soap anything on my channel, I have a kind of a it was not a surprise, but it's going to be a very neat video that I'm gonna have on my channel probably next week. I got to wait for this rain to go away. We got about three more days of rain, and then um, I had to order I had to order an ingredient to come in in the mail, which will be here a couple of days. I ordered off Amazon, but I have a pretty neat video coming out and I think I told 
I think I told you, didn't I, Mom, about what I was wanting to do? No, you didn't. Oh. Well, I was gonna I was gonna make soap, but it's a it's a different process than other videos on YouTube. It's gonna be neat. You're gonna have to watch it. Okay. Because you know I make hey. soap. Go ahead. Um, I was just reading uh, River Mountain Homestead's uh, thing. He said we will be making uh, soap from goat's milk soon to sell in our booth. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, speaking of the goat's milk, when you was making goat mi goat's milk soap, did you use goat's milk, the regular goat's milk, or did you get the bars that you milk down? I use powdered goat milk. Oh, you use powdered goat milk? Um, mm -hmm. okay. Hey, Rebecca, well, how are you? Hey, Rebecca, welcome to the live stream. Yep. Sandy said she loves watching uh, soap videos. You know, I have a, a video on my channel where I made peppermint goat's milk soap. That is wonderful. I love it. What? Shut the door. Do you see who's in the chat? Erica Wade. Who is that? What? Shut the door. Y'all, Erica Wade is my daughter. Holy moly. I didn't even know she had a YouTube. Hey, uh, little sis, you better be uh, first subbing to my channel. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> surprise, surprise guest. Um, NKY Homesteading, where do you get powdered goat's milk? Um, hang on. Erica said, y'all rock. Little sis, you rock. When, when are you oh, going to call Chris and see me? Okay, this is what I use for my goat's milk soap. Is that coming in focus? Can you see that? Oh, yeah, you can get that at Walmart, can't you? Yep. Yeah, Walmart sells... Walmart sells the goat milk uh, powder and they sell goat's milk. Yeah. Well, but I don't the, use the Walmart. Go ahead. Um, I was just going to say the, the Walmarts down where we are uh, sells goat's milk. Uh, I don't know about anywhere else. Okay. Well, I don't buy fresh goat's milk because I don't use a lot of it. So I buy it in powder form um, and keep it in my fridge. And I mix it. Um, one level scoop to eight ounces of warm water. You can make it by the cup. Or you can make it by the quart. Now, when I make goat's milk soap, normally I only need like a cup or, you know, a cup and a half or whatever. So I mix it as I need it. Thank you, Two Family Homestead and FOP. Uh, I smooth missed that. I don't even know what was going on. Oh. Um, I just want to tell Erica right quick, my little sis. Uh, Erica, I do apologize for your loss. Uh, if nobody knows, uh, well, nobody knows, but my sister works at Johnny's Pizza for, and she's been working there for a long time. If you don't know, the owner of Johnny's Pizza has passed away. So 
Erica, I do apologize for your loss. Yeah, River Mountain um, had nine does have kids, so you'll have lots of extra milk. Yep. See, I don't have any goats because I had to get rid of my goats. So, hey, Bud Man. I would ask you how is the shirt that you ordered, but I hear that um, it's been confiscated. Bud Man ordered a shirt from me. Uh, I take it he didn't get it? Well, he got it. It arrived. <laughs> hey, Fuzz T. Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Hey, Fuzz T. How are you? I have one Yo. shirt left that's made already. Um, back there, it's red. So if anyone's interested in that, just send me a message. <laughs> it was great, wonderful, but the wife confiscated it. That's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Mom. Yes? I want to tell you, uh, me and Mr. Jeff, which is my father-in-law, everybody, um, me and him was talking about what me and you talked about, about the chicken coop. I know I did a video saying I was going to tear the chicken coop down and build a new chicken coop. Well, we're not going to do that. Mom talked to me and she was like, just leave the building there and just make you a chicken run out the front of it or out the side of it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the chicken coop there. There's a few uh, holes and stuff that I need to patch up. Uh, I'm just going to get some one by fours and patch those holes up and do me a chicken run yard out the front of it. And um, I can't wait to do that. So I'll get me some chickens. Right. Dad on YouTube said, thank you, Nina. My wife will be do <laughs> do doing some essential oil witchcraft with your potion. You are welcome, Dad on YouTube. It's <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. So funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how how happy you make me hanging out with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Been a been a fun fun chat. Um, man, I tell you what, I'm ready for this rain to leave because I still have not got any plants in the ground yet. I don't either. I don't either. I'm ready. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much to family. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us. Yes, to family. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll see you in another live stream, but man, I can't wait for the uh, the gathering in a couple weeks. Yep. So I hope y'all enjoyed watching me make this. Um, I hope you find it interesting. Hey, Yankee Living. Welcome to the live stream. Yes, Dad on YouTube. Yes. We're going to be needing a Southern art pretty soon. <laughs> doing the backstroke. Doing the backstroke. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Too soon for plants in the ground in northern Kentucky. You are welcome, Richard. That's all right, old man. 
That is all right. Awesome, River Mountain. Awesome, awesome. All right, you guys, that's all I've got for you this evening. Um, I appreciate you so much. And if y'all like this sort of stuff, give me a thumbs up. Thank you, Richard. Don't, for, don't forget to hit the like button. That helps me out. <laughs> and if you find it interesting, you might want to share the video. That would help me as well. And y'all don't forget to go subscribe to my spicy boy on Backwoods Rays. <laughs> hey, D, how are you? I love you, Erica. I cannot believe that you joined in my live stream. Holy crap. <laughs> Yes, Richard, it is dinner time. I have not had dinner time, so I have not had dinner yet, so I'm going to be hooking it up. I had dinner. I had uh, bacon wrapped chicken thighs and steamed broccoli and cauliflower. What? Shut up. <laughs> Thank you so much, y'all. All right, I'm fixing to shut down the live stream, and I appreciate y'all so very much. Yes, Mickey, I will put the ingredients in the description box um, below the video. When it processes, I'll go back in and add the recipe for y'all. All right. And also, um, everybody, don't forget, uh, next week, uh, same time, 7 o'clock, Central Louisiana time, we'll be back on here doing another live stream, just chit-chatting. We usually don't have a, a topic. Uh, you know, tonight mom done her, her pain relief bars, but next week it could be anything. So uh, you never thank y'all all so much for uh, joining us tonight, and we'll see y'all again next week. Good night, everybody.